hello guys and welcome to this youtube channel so for this video i'll be making a rush sleeve just like the one you saw and i'll be needing measuring tape i'll be needing my scissors i'll be needing needle and thread and a writing material as well so before i start guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel thank you very much so the fabric i'll be using for this tutorial is a door face fabric and i'll be using half a yard of a door face and as we all know a door face a full yard of a fabric is marked 36 inches and in order to get half a yard if you don't want to use your calculator you can fold your tape into two from the 36 inches and then the divided end of the tape is going to tell us what the division is and you can compare it to your calculator to see if we are right or not well this is just to note just in case you don't know so guys the full length of irregular doffice fabric is 58 just to be sure of what we are working with so no one is left behind the full length of the of a doffice fabric is 58 irregular doffice fabric is 58 and that is what i'm trying to show you all here so we are sure we are all on the same page so for my route sleeve i'll be folding the top face fabric into two because this is going to give me two sleeves and i have a folded end and an open end so for the folded side of the door face, I'll be cutting it up using my scissors. I'll be cutting it up, making the fabric to be two instead of one folded fabric. We'll be having two because this fabric is going to give us two sleeves. So now that I'm done cutting the fabric into two, I'll be working on one side of the fabric and there are some measurements that you can use to achieve this type of sleeve. You could use it at two inches, three inches, one and a half inch, even one inch or even half an inch. But for me, I like to use two inches because I think it's just perfect. It gives me a very fine result. So over to this now, I'll be marking two inches on the fabric. Two inches from my tape on the fabric i'll be marking it on both the length and both the length and the depth of the fabric in order to get a box square mind you we are trying to achieve a box square first on the fabric before we go ahead so you can see how i am marking the two inches i am actually taking my time and showing you all I could have gone in to start marking it on the fabric as two four six eight but i just kept on moving the tape marking it two inches so you all understand what i am doing <laughs> guys i just did everything off the camera and i used my free hands i just used the chalk and the tape as a guide and you can see the box is looking so fine and perfect if there is any mistake 
don't forget to double shade the actual line so you'll be the faint you know the fainted line is going to be the one you'll not be using mind you now i'm not going to be using this first box this first box this first box and the first box so the first box all around i wouldn't be using it now <clears throat> i will move on to the second box take note of this so i'm going to draw a slanted line here and don't forget to repeat this process on your second sleeve i'm going to leave the next box and i'll draw another one here i will leave this draw another one here leave this box draw another line here leave this box draw another line leave the next one draw one here and then leave since this is the last box because we are not making use of these edges it is a no so this is last box and there is no other box after that so i'm going to leave it and go on to the third line we are going to leave the second line totally so coming on to this line i'm not going to start off here because i already drew a slanted line here i'm going to move on to the next one which comes like this side now i'll be using the needle and thread to pinch a little bit of the fabric from one of the slanted lines so the second slanted line and then i'll pull the thread so, so that the fabric will join at both ends like what you are seeing right now and then i'm going to tie the thread and this is going to give it a kind of rosy look like a rosy shape just by joining those two slanted edges together and i'm going to be repeating this process on all the slanted lines mind you everything you are doing on this sleeve you are also repeating it on the second sleeve so we'll repeat the same process on the next line and then i'll tell you what next to do <laughs> So guys i just finished everything about that and i'm showing you all what the sleeve will look like i know it's really pretty right <laughs> so i went ahead to cut out the normal sleeve using the lining 
and I use my client's measurement. So this measurement is actually small and that's why I'm not sharing the measurements I use with you. You can go ahead and cut out your sleeve according to your measurements. And then I cut out the a band for it because the sleeve will be having a band. You will see that in the picture. And I cut two of it. I really didn't use a measurement for the band because once I'm done joining the band, I will trim out the excesses. I really don't like using measurements for my bands. So as for the sleeve itself, the door face that we worked on, I'll be pleating it on the lining to make sure it all comes to the same measurements with it and if you pleat this door face on the lining it's going to give it a more beautiful look honestly guys this sleeve is really beautiful i love to recreate these sleeves like i am not tired of making these sleeves i've made it for like three customers and this is my third time of making it and i really enjoyed it guys so i decided to share this tutorial with you all and i hope you all enjoyed it and in case you've done yours and you actually like what it turned out to be please don't forget to send us a picture or post or share it tagging us using the hashtag on instagram so with jessica recreation so we would love to see that so now i have taken the clothes to my sewing machine and i will be sewing it like i showed you the edge the places that are supposed to be pleated on the lining this is the top part of it and just <laughs> enjoy how i sew <laughs>
going to join it together and this is what it looks like on my client's body <music> Thank you.